Hey, so uh, there's a star in reality, it's a real star, called Gors Nova. It's not a Nova, by the way, uh, but it is named for a guy named Gore, who's presumably a distant cousin of mine. Uh, pretty famous as far as amateur astronomers go back in the late 1800s. And uh, yeah, it's in Elite Dangerous. I was able to get the first scan for the two planets in it. Uh, somebody else had already found the star, or the stars, I should say. And um, yeah, the uh, A1 planet, Gors Nova A1, is landable. It has eight geological signals. And the only thing you need to watch out for is it's got some heavier gravity so I think a little bit past 2 G's once I actually land. I'm approaching one of the geological signals that happens to be Sunside at the moment. It's actually a convenient little halfway point type thing like if you want to get to the f back side of Barnard's Loop and the Horsehead Nebula and all that jazz from the bubble this is like a reasonable way to go as you kind of like go to the looks at the wedge head then go up to Gors Nova and then come down I'm actually going the other way I had gone to witch head and then wrapped around this way and I'm coming back up I'm pretty sure whenever I get a fleet carrier I'll probably just park it here if I'm not using it a lot actively for whatever I'm doing it's just and just kinda like have it be part of that DSSA thing is what I've considered just park it here and Gore's Nova, call it Gore's Castle, and it just sits here. So every now and then I'll stop by just to see the system. Yeah, so I'm at 1.99 G's. I think it gets to 2. So if you're not aware, the higher G landings start to get more tricky. Anything above, actually, even at Earth gravity, you kind of need to think about stuff. But. At twice Earth gravity, you start to really be, need to be more careful. So I'm approaching right now. I will put it in the blue for when I drop. Did we get to two Gs? I thought I got to two Gs. Maybe not. Yeah, there's two Gs right there. So, on the approach, just, you know, light's complete, so bring it to zero as soon as possible. You don't want to be slamming into the ground. Because it takes a while to slow this thing down. Two Gs. I actually don't remember what the geologicals were here. It's been a while since I bothered to go down to the planet. But since I was in the neighborhood, I figured I might stop by and say hi. Alright, there I think I see it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just being gentle with it being Ooh. high gravity. Okay. Let's break out the landing gear. And suitable terrain. Okay, this will work. Oh! <laughs> and here we go. Let's get a scare about deploy. Uh, 
no. Did I turn that off? I did. Okay. Now I did play. Hi, gravity warning. Huh? Alrighty. Okay, so what is here? Oh! Hey, a crystal and crocodile luster. I might as well get it. Ten. Well, I'm actually out of ten. It's grade three material. That's something. That's more than nothing. I am actually pretty low in materials. I've been engineering all the things, so this is probably a reasonable thing to do. Crystalline fragments. Okay. Where? Crystalline cluster again. So probably more tin. Yep, more tin. That's good. Neobium. I think I needed that for something. I wanted, actually. Neobium. Crystalline cluster, more tin. Cool. I don't know how long I'll needle crystals. All right. Ethereum, which is a grade four. Hey, okay. Ethereum? Ethereum? Something like that. More needle crystals. Down there. Can't really go too fast on this. It's a gravity. There it is. Ethereum. Ethereum? Ethereum? Why do you say that? <sighs> Carbon. Oh, that's pretty common. Oh, that is the most common. Yeah. Read one. Crystalline cluster, so that's like probably grade four stuff. So, yeah, these kind of sites are actually pretty good for this stuff. Neobium again, which was grade four, I think it was Here's my ship. More crystalline fragments. So, yeah, if you need some materials, this kind of stuff is pretty good. Um, geological signals are great for the rare stuff. So find a system like Gores Nova, or maybe somebody closer to you, and start scrounging. Actually, let me roll this cargo scoop up a bit. I wasn't trying to remember what these even are. These are. Uh, go to analysis, analysis mode. 
Composition scanner. Can I composition scanner? There you go. Oh no. Why is it not? There you go. Sulfur dioxide gas vent. I must have never scanned this one. I think it was something else at one of the other sites, and I guess I haven't been to all the sites yet. Hmm, okay. Fun. Actually, I don't know why my fire groups are like this. Let me make this that. That's much better. Uh, manganese. Pretty boring material. Whatever. What else do I have here? Crystalline cluster. Niobium, that was three. Okay. That's what I was thinking it was four. There's that Picus cobble. Iron. Common, very common. Grade one. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but like to the left of the iron and my left, right? See, it's got like one little dash? That's grade one. And that's how you can tell how rare it is. And you can trade up and down. So if you trade to grade four for grade three, you get like, if it's in the same channel, you get a whole lot more than vice versa. You have to trade like six to one, and I think it's three to one the other way. So like six iron will get you one of whatever is above iron but it's obviously much better the other way around unless you really so the higher rarity the better it is you can get whatever you need I can't get a good angle for this there we go so like arsenic that's grade two because there's two little dashes so still pretty common but like this grade 4, grade 5 stuff. It's what you really want. Phosphorus, grade 1. Eh, and as you can see, I have some ready. So it's those crystalline shards, if I remember right, the ones that were doing good. Okay, nickel, grade one. I've got a bunch of it, of course. Needle crystals. Yeah, that's the one that was giving me grade four of something. I don't remember what it was. Why not? There you go. Yttrium, yep, yeah, that's grade four. Because there's four little things in it. Ethereum? Ethereum? Let me actually say that. So Picus Cobbles probably only give me a grade one or grade two or something. I might as well get it on here. I 
like this combo. Crystalline fragments. That was something good, right? Arsenic. Well, that's grade two. That's better than nothing, I guess. Like this combo. Like this combo. So we can find some more good stuff. I might have. Kind of empty this area for now. Till I come back next time. Oh, there's something. There you go. Crystalline fragments. Those are going to be like grade two, grade three. If I remember right? to arsenic yep and then if I go over here what do I have like this couple like this couple and also around here and the crystalline shards which I really like I might have gotten all the good stuff out of here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't see anything else good. Get a little more of my iron, but yeah. Yeah, so Ors Nova A1. So there's that. Uh, there. Board ship. How about there? Uh, that's a decent shot. We'll do that one. Oops, that's what I want to do. We'll do that. There you go. Yeah, and the other, only other planet in this system is a big gas giant. I wonder when Odyssey comes out if you'll get a little marker that's first walked on for planets and stuff. If so, I might make a point to come out here for that. Be interesting to see. Alright, let's look at the gas giant. Um, maybe one. Nineteen thousand lights, I guess. Okay. 
So that's about 38 astronomical units. Give or take. I should probably get further away from the planet first. Let's go back to keeping it kind of... Starting to get some real velocity now. Let's go to that planet. The gas giant, AB1. Thirty-eight AU, give or take thirty-nine AU, I guess, because there's another four hundred ninety-one. So uh, there's this, there's also, there's something else gore-ish that I had bookmarked, I don't remember what it was. Uh, gores, 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 yeah. Which is a kind of boring prison colony. Up kind of there. A little bit north of everything. Pretty much at the top of all the things, right? There's not much going on there either, though. There's just a reformatory, some boring rocks, and a star. That's it. But it's kind of cool that I've at least got that, those two. So what I'm actually out here doing, right? Um, so I've been looking around the Barnard's Loop area again. So if you don't know this, um, we've got all these nebulas here, starting with the Witch Head Nebula, which has occupied systems and one engineer and Thargoid activity. And then if you keep on going past it, so like Earth's that way, right? You can kind of make a line out of them. You've got the Running Man Nebula, the Orion Nebula, there. Then you've got there's a horse head nebula and the big red thing is Bernard's Loop. You can see the Bernard's Loop, Barnard's, Barnard's Loop from it's huge. It's like dominates the sky in the entire bubble. It's this kind of like, you know, you see this like parenthesis type thing going on. It's a good little indicator of where you're at if you want to use it. And probably not in cities, but elsewhere you can actually you can actually see this. Actually, I don't know if you can. That, that might not be true. Um, actually, I don't think you can really see Bernard's Loop. Um, you can see the nebulas, at least with a good telescope. Um, but the interesting thing is, is there's a bunch of permit locks here around the Horsehead Nebula. And there's lots of theories about what that is. And so I was playing around, trying to figure out some stuff. I occasionally just show up there and start looking. That's what I was doing last time. What am I at? 9,000 light years. But yeah. And I got tired of doing that. And now I'm back up to... Like I said, I'm going back up to Gores Nova. Right here. And then from there, I will probably... Actually go back to this new community goal. Which is going on something about exploration you like throw in exploration and then you like 
I think if you they specifically want actually what would be in here just the one I haven't turned in yet. Oh, too fast. Let me burn off some speed. Almost to the gas tank. I just need to slow down. There we go. Yeah, so there's some exploration community goal now where, especially if you turn in apparently ammonia worlds, which I don't have any at the moment. Oh, so that's Bernard's Loop, by the way. This is a really good view of Bernard's Loop from this kind of area. It's not a loop anymore, it's just a big uh, blob. But still, you get a good view of it. There you go. Actually, you can probably frame it and the planet really, really well. Let's do that. That'll be a good that'll be a good one. I like that. Yeah. Let's bring it down. Oops, I don't want to do that. I want to do. Which one are do one of this and that? And there you go. So you got. So yeah, this is a, probably one of my favorite places to see Horsed Nebula. You can see the Running Man Nebula. You can see Bernard's Loop. You can see the. I think that's the large and small Magellanic Clouds. You've got everything here. You got all the big ones. And. You've got a Nova named after my long dead Irish cousin. So, how about that? I think I want this photo. That's the photo I want to use. So, yeah, check it out. Gore's Nova. Good place to sightsee a little bit. Not really much to do. Maybe get some engineering materials, but there's better places to do that that are much closer. I mostly just come out here because of the name.